I have to tell you about a story that I think is is was just amazing. So I have been uh, dealing with cryptocurrency since almost since it came out, since I heard about it. I say dealing with it. I mean, like reading about it. Right. And thinking, <laughs> I mean, right dealing that. in it. Yeah. Dealing in it. <laughs> Hey, you want some Brian Fart <laughs> NFTs? <laughs> you want some Brian Ass <laughs> NFTs? The good still, stuff. still working on that collection, by the way. Uh, so I, I've been reading about it because I'm fascinated at this thought of alternate currency. And, yeah. you know, I never understood it. I read about it for about a year before I actually right. understood what the fuck they were talking about. Right. And it wasn't until I got involved that I really understood exactly what was going on. So it's not that hard of a concept. It's just you got to kind of figure it out, right? Someone's got to teach it to you a little yes, bit. So I was reading I and reading and reading, and then I was like, oh, I can, I got this. So I go on this. Bye, bye. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, rich, rich, rich. So what I'm mainly reading is, you know, some college kid, you know, some pimple-faced kid who works at Domino's is now a billionaire because he took all of his lunch money and bought, you know, Bitcoin when it was six cents. Right. Right. Which happened to many people. True. So I didn't get in that early. I got in when it was like, you know, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. And yeah. I thought that was expensive, right? I thought this is crazy. Yeah. Like who's paying seven, eight hundred dollars for some <laughs> shit they don't even understand? It's you know, right. clearly no one gets this. <laughs> so what I so I was into this concept this thought about mining. Like you buy a server and mine basically for free for the cost of the electricity in the server, you could mine Bitcoin yourself. Right. Back when individuals did that kind of thing. Now it's all owned by hedge funds and corporations. Mm -hmm. Are all you know, you 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 don't make any money doing that as an individual with one. On the server anymore right but back then what you could do is rather than buy your own server you could you could buy into a company that had multiple servers and then you bought a small share of a server and every bitcoin that that server would mine you would then get your share however much money you put in so okay. and they had plans it was like you know 29.99 a month 39.99 a month and then uh, how much money you made depended on the fluctuation in price on bitcoin but you every time every day you would make like 0.000000001 percent right. bitcoin but if you did the math at a certain average, right? I mean, I guess if you do the math on anything at a certain average, at a certain <laughs> price, everything makes money. Yeah. But I was in my head, I calculated, oh, you could probably make like, you know, six to seven dollars a day. But or over the course of time, if it keeps on, if the price keeps on rising, well, maybe that would be like up. 60 or 70 dollars a day. Sure. So I buy into this. Mm -hmm. This is years ago. <laughs> and it's like a two year or one and a half, 18 month contract. You have to keep on paying twenty nine ninety nine a month for 18 months. Okay, whatever. And the harder the Bitcoin got to mine, generally, the less you would make every day, right? So it was getting harder, but more expensive. It was like a whole calculation that they had that you could do, right? I didn't know. I didn't understand it back then. Barely understand it now. <laughs> okay. But I was one of those guys who was like, Bitcoin, bye, bye, bye. Right, you know? right. Get in. Get in so, now. Okay. So fast forward to October of last year, mm -hmm. and you and I get um, the nice people uh, over at one of the, the Bitcoin wallets, decide that they are going to give us some commercials. They want to buy some commercials. Right. Okay. Right? They want to come in and sponsor. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and I, I won't mention the name of the wallet, but, but I'll say. They're that, defunct now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were literally they filing. They advertised for, yeah, with us. Old, and <laughs> yeah, grandmas were losing their houses. Poor people in Ecuador are more poor right. because of this company. And we were there. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Get 20% off their next Bitcoin on, you know, BitShit, <laughs> BitShit.com. <Yeah. laughs> yes. So, uh, okay. So they say, please, Mr. Podcaster, go and sign up for one of our wallets so that you can be knowledgeable about how to, at least how to use our product uh -huh. so that you can talk about it on air, which I do. So I do most of the commercial reads, so I did that. But when I went to go do that, the personal email address that I've been using for years, it says, you already have an account. I'm like, I don't have an account. What are you talking about? And then, mm. but I asked for the password back. They give me the password and then they say, you need to verify your account with an ID or a passport, your social security number and some other identifying information. I'm <laughs> give like, this us is a everything. big fucking pain <laughs> in the ass just to read a commercial, right? But I do that. And then it says, it takes seven to 10 business days to verify your account. We'll get back to you. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck this. So I read the commercial and da, 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 da. Then on the Super Bowl halftime show, I see that this place has a huge commercial, like a couple. Of, oh, yeah. You know, they did the whole the nine yards, of the commercial. And I'm like, wow, they really have come into their own. They're spent, you know, they've, on the commercial break in October, <laughs> on the Super Bowl in January. <laughs> the parody is unbelievable. I wish I could charge two million dollars. Right. 30 seconds. <laughs> Astrid and I are sitting in the dining room the other day and we are talking about future vacation plans of ours. 
And I get a, I, I was reading through old emails and, and I saw the email that said, you've been verified on this wallet. You know, please go here and reset your password. Yeah. I then do that while I'm sitting there and I'm talking to Astrid. And I open up the application. On the application, it says, you have X thousands of dollars wow. in your account. And I was like, that's so nice of our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they paid us in Bitcoin or whatever, right? I'm like, this is a... This is an example of what you should see if you were actually making trades and buying and selling Bitcoin. Yeah. Right. This is an example page. So I'm trying to navigate out of it. I can't navigate out of it. I close the app. I open it again. <laughs> Your balance is X thousands of dollars. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, I'm now I'm mixed up with somebody else. What is going on? <laughs> right. So then I look and I look at my trading history. And my trading history goes all the way back to when I purchased that plan. Ah. And I was dumping what I was making into this wallet. And mm. when I was doing it back then, it was dollars that I was making every day. Yeah. But five or six years later, it is hundreds and hundreds of dollars that I was making every single day. That's incredible. I had a bunch of money. Best to you. Best to you indeed. <laughs> this I had this Bitcoin wallet. Yeah. I was one of these guys who like literally found lost Bitcoin and there it was. And I mean, I'm not talking about, this is not life-changing FU money. This is enough money to say, oh, we are going to have a nice family vacation. Let's go on vacation. Right? We just found our, our yes. we just found the missing money we needed for that nice family vacation. Yeah.